Okay, the last one. A, B, and C are each midpoints of the sides. So they're midpoints of each of the sides of the triangle D, E, F. D, E, so this whole thing is 20. D, A, this is 12. F, C is 9. So we're going to find AB, BC, and AC. We're going to find these three links. Um, and since they are the midpoints, I can just go ahead and just do that, right? And then this one with this one, this one to this one. Now, let's see. So. First of all, let's look at one of these segments, the mid-segments at a time. Since if we look at the segment AC, that's the mid-segment because again, it's the midpoints are at the or uh, the, the endpoints are at the midpoints of each of the sides. That means AC is half the length of DE, right? It's parallel and it's half the length. So if this whole thing is 20, I know that AC, this right here, is 10 write that in red so that way we know that that's what's um, that's what we found and what else so a c is 10 and then uh, we're just going to do that for each of them so here let's look at a b a b is also a mid segment because it's this end point is you know midpoint of this side this endpoint is middle of this side, therefore this is parallel to the third side, and it's half the length. Now, this right here, it's not half of 9, because if this is 9, then this is also 9, which makes the whole thing 18. So, half of 18 is each of these, right? 9. So that would also make this 9. Right? So, it's just half of the whole thing, okay, which each of these are half of the whole thing also, so they're going to have the same measure. And then BC, again, so BC, midpoint, that side, midpoint, that side, this side BC is parallel to DF, and it's half the length, so half the length we know is 12 because this is half the length, and it, you know, it's, the whole thing is going to be 24, so this is going to be 12. Okay, so it's just for this example, it's just three mid segments in one triangle. Okay, so here's AB, BC, and AC. And that is it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.